What's up, guys? So week nine of Candido's linear template. Today I had a 220 for five sets of four on the squat. So uh, this is the second set, and it's the only set of these uh, uh, sets of four that I ended up recording. But uh, they all went uh, decently well. Kind of hard. I mean, you can see on this set, uh, clearly my hips are rising before the rest of my body, which is obviously a prevalent issue in my squats. But uh, it's not a big enough deal that I'm going to drop the weight and uh, just so I could fix it. Just trying to work in some quad dominant accessories right now so that uh see if we can get this problem ironed out without having to drop the weights down at all um so after those five sets i ended up going for uh, a heavy single like last week so started with 245 which if you saw the clip from last week was a uh, very very slow like a real rpe 10 uh super grinder which wasn't surprising considering it was after uh, a pretty tough 215 for five sets of four but this time it went really well so you'll see here the speed is Pretty, pretty damn good, which I was really happy about uh, compared to last week. So right here is 260 that I did afterwards, and my all-time best is 270 on the squat, and this is 10 pounds off after uh, a fairly difficult uh, five sets of four with 220. So I'm feeling pretty good about my squat right now. Uh, I don't really want to uh, uh, guess too much at what it is if I was uh, totally unfatigued, but I'm thinking it's probably around 300 right now. So. Uh, not going to test a true one rep max anytime soon, but uh, nah, that's what that's what I'm thinking right now. Follow this up with some conventional deadlifts. Um, still no sumo. The hip's still bothering me a little bit. I might do a little bit of a high rep sumo with light weights um, on the control days this week, but not a guarantee. I don't know if you could tell from this, but I'm wearing my Olympic shoes. Um, I know that most people will say that uh, it's inefficient and you should stick with the flat shoes, but I found it really uh, helped me get into a better position to start with and keep my lower back a little more neutral. Um, and I'm never really going to compete with conventional as my stance, so all in all, I don't think it's really that big of a deal that I'm using them. So this is uh, my top set of six, which was 165, and that's 10 pounds heavier than last week's top set of six, which was 155. So conventional's feeling okay. Still not feeling particularly strong with it, but good. I guess it's good that I'm working my weaknesses then. Hopefully, uh, well, if I stop, uh, if I keep not doing sumo for a while, hopefully this gets gets stronger, but I'm hoping that uh, I can start doing sumo as soon as possible. Um, so right after this, you'll see that I did some benching. This is 147 and a half paused for five sets of four. Last week I was kind of debating what I was going to do this week for benching since I failed my last rep last set of 145 for three sets of six. And I was leaning towards uh, going up to 147.5, sticking with three sets of six and just doing a touch and go. But I ended up moving to five sets of four, which is the same protocol I'm doing on squats, and I'm keeping these paws still. Um, so this went really good. I'm happy I made this decision. Hopefully progress is going to continue nicely with uh, these five sets of four, and I think... Uh, I think there's a lot of room to improve on these, so I'm happy about that. After that, I followed it up with a heavy single similar to what I was doing on squats, and I ended up going for 167.5 pounds, which is a 7.5 pound PR. Um, and this is after a somewhat difficult uh, five sets of four, and that moved pretty quick, so I was really, really happy with that. Hopefully, uh, I go for something uh, a little fresher soon, and we'll see what happens. So here's 90 for a set of four on overhead press. I did two sets, so I've moved on to two sets of four on overhead press. Uh, I guess the trend here is I'm doing lots of sets of four, um, and I'm really liking it. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.